Corruption coverage. It's part of many commercial insurance policies, paying for lost revenue during a closure as well as what it'll take to reopen. But a Tuscaloosa shop now fighting its insurance company to get what it says it paid for. WVTM 13's Lisa Crane addresses the question, does this coverage even apply to the current situation? Wagner Shoes has been a staple in Tuscaloosa since 1954. Now, just like most small businesses, they're struggling to stay afloat. The owners had hoped their business interruption insurance would save them. They filed a claim. It was denied. Now they're suing their insurance company. One of their attorneys says insurance companies aren't even investigating these claims. The industry has to decide whether it's going to stand in front of the train or get out of the way and help people get their businesses back up and running. Wagner's is not the only lawsuit like this out there. There are others in Alabama, many more throughout the country. As a matter of fact, Colquitt says he plans to file additional lawsuits next week. He's worked in insurance litigation for 25 years, most of that time for the insurance companies. And he says he does expect insurance companies will eventually pay these claims, which is the only way to get the economy back on its feet. Without coverage payments being made, and without insurance companies giving their customers coverage for which they paid a handsome premium, this recovery is never going to start. In Tuscaloosa, Lisa Crane, WVTM 13.